Hello everyone. Let's see an example with custom shapes and stroke path in Photoshop. So let us start. Here we have the silhouette pics of different birds. We'll be selecting one of the bird and this is a PNG file. So we will select this particular bird. So we will use the magic wand tool and we will just simply click inside this bird pick. Right. So then what we'll do is we will unlock the layer and we will invert the selection. To invert the selection, we can just use Ctrl Shift I in PC or Command Shift I in Mac. And we will simply hit delete. Right. And now we will just remove the selection. We can use Ctrl D in PC or Command D in Mac. Right. So the next thing we will do is we can just increase the size of this bird right then what we need to do is we have to create a custom shape out of this bird pick so we need to hold control in PC or command in Mac and simply click on the layer thumbnail we can see a selection around this pick now the next thing we are supposed to do is we need to go to parts so here is the parts panel and in case the parts panel is not open we can always go to window menu and just open the parts panel right so now what we'll do is we will just click at the bottom of the parts panel so what is that option that is make work path from selection just we need to click on it so we can see there is a path around this bird now so means the selection is converted to path right so with the path active all we have to do is we need to go to edit menu and in edit menu here we have the option define custom shape we will be converting this path to a custom shape we'll be adding this custom shape of this bird inside our custom shapes panel so we'll simply click on this define custom shape and we can give the name as bird that's it so we have created a bird so let's see where our custom shape is right now so just select the custom shape tool and uh, here in the shapes we can see our bird shape so this one the last one right so now what we'll do is uh, we will just uh, open a new document and let's uh, test our bird shape so this is our bird so this is our bird right so let's create uh, a big size bird and what we'll do is we'll just open our layers panel and uh, now we'll be creating a custom brush out of this custom shape so how we can do that we'll again hold control in PC or command in Mac and click on the layer thumbnail so we get a selection around this bird again or around this shape so with the selection active we need to go to edit menu again and uh, this time we will select this define brush preset right so we can just give the name bird brush right so now we have created a bird brush so let's check our bird brush once 
right let me uh, delete this so let's see where our bird brush is see this is our bird brush so our bird brush is inside the brushes panel at the bottom of the brushes panel right and we can give any color to this bird brush we can give any color let's try uh, red so we can see we can also give green we can give uh, yellow we can give blue and we can give many other colors so we can also give uh, orange right so now we have created a new brush so the next thing uh, we are supposed to do is let's change the style of our bird brush so it should not look uh, uh, simple so what we'll do is uh, we'll just open the brush settings we'll go to window menu and just open the brush settings so in brush settings we have plenty of options so what we'll do is here we can see an option called spacing we'll increase the spacing and when we are trying to change the spacing make sure that we have selected this uh, brush tip shape option only then we'll be able to see this option spacing right so what it will do is it will create some gaps between each uh, brush stroke so we can see here right then we will uh, modify our brush stroke even further so what we'll do is we will select the shape dynamics and in shape dynamics we will increase the size jitter the size jitter will add some variation to the brush strokes so we can see our brush strokes have some variation right and we can do one more thing here we have the option flip jitter flip x jitter so we can see the direction of the birds is changing some are facing uh, the left side some are facing the right side so something like this and we can also increase the spacing a little bit further so there is more gap so we can actually play with this setting and also we will uh, reduce the size of our brush stroke so we can see we can just increase or decrease right so then the next thing uh, we'll do is here we have the color dynamics so what this option will do is it will create plenty of colors see if we create a stroke see now we are getting different colors of birds colorful birds we are able to see right and uh, if we want a little bit uh, darkness we can increase this brightness jitter so we can see now our strokes are a little bit dark right so now the next thing we'll do is we will create a text so what we'll do is uh, we will first give a pure black color to our background so we'll simply hit D on the keyboard so that you can see a, a black color on the foreground and now we'll simply use a keyboard shortcut all backspace in PC or option backspace in Mac right so we'll just um, hide this uh, parts panel right so the next thing we'll do is uh, we can just first uh, uh, create a stroke see right now the stroke uh, the brush stroke is appearing uh, in a gray color because the foreground color is pure black so we'll change it to red and now let's create the stroke so we can see here so we can see right now we have a colorful brush stroke now what we'll do is we'll type some text so we'll select the type tool 
and we will just type bird that's it and now we will increase the size of the text just increase it keep it at the center right so here I'm using the font Arial rounded right so then what you'll do is we will now get a selection for the text or selection around the text so how we can do that so we'll simply need to hold control in PC or command in Mac and simply click on the letter T of the text layer right so now we got a selection around the text so once we got a selection around the text we have to convert this selection to a path so how we can do that so we again have to open our paths panel and then what we'll do is we will simply click on this make work path from selection option that's it again we can see a path now so what we need to do now is we will simply delete this text layer just we need to delete it right so we can only see the path but we'll create a separate layer for the path so just create a new empty layer right so now what we are going to do is we will first select our brush so which brush we are going to select we are going to select the bird brush just now we have created a bird brush we will select it and now what we'll do is we'll first test our bird brush we'll see how it is appearing okay it looks fine maybe we can slightly reduce the size okay so something like this right now it looks fine so now what we'll do is we'll select the pen tool and uh, we will right click on this path and uh, here we can find an option stroke path so we'll simply select that stroke path and once we have selected the stroke path we can see another dialog box so this is the stroke path dialog box and here we have the option tool so in tool we can select plenty of tools but what we are going to select here is the brush so the brush just now we have created we will we'll be selecting that particular brush the bird brush right now all we have to do is simply click ok see here our path is now converted to a brush stroke so we will simply hide the path so where is the path here the paths panel is there so what we will do is we will simply just delete the path right so now we can see so we can see the birds the path is now replaced by the bird strokes right so we can make it more uh, interesting what we'll do is we will just duplicate this layer and then we will uh, change the blending mode to linear dot so that our bird uh, text appears a little bit bright right so we can see how we have created this first we have created a silhouette of birds we have just opened the silhouette of birds we have selected one bird we have made it into a custom shape then after making it into a custom shape then we have created a custom brush with that particular bird shape and then we have just uh, adjusted the brush settings and then what we have done is we have created the text and then we have converted the text to a selection and the selection to path and then in the end we have converted the path to a press stroke using the stroke path option we can do a lot of interesting things with this particular example so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial please do like subscribe share and if you have anything to say do comment see you again